it's one thing to have a serious dedicated fishing boat, but then to equip it with all the, the toys and features you want, the price tag can start to get a little lofty. That's why it's nice to have a company that has a lot of options in their lineup that maybe allow you to spend less on the boat and more on the toys. So that's why in this BoatDealers.ca digital walkthrough, we're going to look at the 2017 Princecraft Expedition 200 windshield. The Princecraft Expedition 200 is a 20-foot boat with a 92-inch beam, but better yet, it has a dry weight of about 1,500 pounds. It has a large stern cast platform, as well as what I think is probably the largest bow casting platform in this segment. There's a 17-gallon live wall in the bow, as well as multiple storage. Princecraft likes to use netting for quick storage, so there's some up on the port side of the bow. As you move into the cockpit, you're going to notice the rod storage in the walkthrough, and this has the new ventilated system that's going to blow air in there to help dry out that wet, those wet rods and reels. It'll avoid rust, but as well things like mold. It's going to help prolong the longevity of your gear. The dual consoles on this boat are ideal. They have a high windshield, plenty of storage, and they even have those unique drawers, which are actually really cool to just toss quick things like cell phone wallets, outdoor cards, stuff like that. Even though this is a hardcore fishing boat, they've incorporated things like jump seats. So when you wanna have the kids go for a quick ride around the lake, or even better tubing or water skiing because there is the optional ski pylon here. There's cup holders, a seat base, access to your battery storage, as well as a 20 gallon stern live well. Again, that's gonna be that tournament aspect to have both a bow and stern live well. There's more rod storage here in the port side gunnel, and this boat even has an optional kicker motor. The helm on this boat is first rate. It's quite simply styled, but very effective. It has twin gauge clusters in the center, as well as that single row of aircraft toggle switches. Now, something that Princecraft did in this boat that fishermen are gonna love is they have that large space for you to flush mount any graph you want. Fishermen love their electronics, and Princecraft knows that and they give them the room to put them in there. If you're new to the Princecraft brands, one of the first things you can expect in terms of how their boats run is that they run really dry. You can see where the water breaks behind me. It's constantly getting shot out behind and the boat gives lots of lift. That's because it has a hard shine as well as that strong riveted aluminum bottom. Now something that I really like about Princecraft is that they're what I like to call a driver's boat. This boat, you need to work the trim, but in a good way, meaning you can get a lot of horsepower out of it. If I trim all the way down, I'm at 3000 RPM, doing 37 miles an hour. And now if I trim up to a, a more, efficient position. I've stayed at 3,000 RPM, but I've gone up to 44 miles an hour. So you just gained that much more speed simply by working your trim switch properly. I was lucky enough to have tested the very first Expedition model when it came out a few years ago. So I've seen the evolution of this line. And then now this full windshield, 20 foot version is a serious tournament boat, but again, you're gonna be able to save some money instead of getting into that higher end line that you're gonna be able to put into things like electronics, trolling motors, and accessories on the Prince Track system. It's nice to see the lineup evolving, and it's gonna be great to see where it goes from here.